I don't have to be the person to tell you that Atlanta artists have been dominating the mainstream trap sound for the past 10 to 15 years. And I'm not gonna name them all because you know who they are. It seems like every year we see one, two, three, sometimes multiple artists from Atlanta jump onto the mainstream radar. Well, in 2020 and beyond, there are some very specific Atlanta artists that I know will reach that mainstream level. My name is Patrick CC, and I make hip hop content on YouTube, but I also just remind you to drink water and stay hydrated. Before I start, these artists aren't an official group like ASAP Mob or something, and they're not necessarily associated or affiliated with each other. Some of them are friends, some of them are frequent collaborators, and some of them I have no idea if they even know of each other or whatever. The only reason they're all in this video together for the most part is because they're all from Atlanta. And also they're not really in any specific order. Kenny Mason. Kenny is the only artist on this list, to my knowledge, that is signed. Which means that support and the backing of the label will help him with marketing strategies and just general funding to help him get his music out there. He brings a tasteful lyrical element to today's modern sound, and he's definitely showed us some more experimental stuff here and there. He's got a great rap voice, and we all can tell that he's very talented. From what we have heard, we know that it's really good, but Kenny just needs to release more music. The buzz around him is pretty great and I'm excited to see what happens this year. Jelani Imani. Bitch sit like strep throat. Where the hell all of my friends go? Never mind, I just put on a smile and some clothes that away when I flex so Everyone say I'm up next though. This is like the fourth or fifth time that I've talked about Jelani on this channel. You guys definitely know that I'm a super fan. I think he's a star. He's 100% self-produced. He has such a good image and a really cool backstory. A lot of you know that he used to be a voice actor on the show Bubble Guppies. I don't really have to say much about Jelani. The music speaks for him, but but if you are interested in seeing a entire video on Jelani, I made one right here. So definitely go and check that out. Dreads long as fuck, baby Bruce Wayne, baby big brain, mentally insane, like a rap sheet or a track meet. Who can't catch me? I'm an athlete. David the Tragic. I ain't lifted, we ain't working out. Yeah. You've been shitting on me, water mouth. Spoke my name so much that you don't fucking wore it out. David is one of the smaller artists on this list or has a smaller following. He has a mega, mega unconventional style. Throws his cadence and vocal delivery around in ways that you just don't really see that often. Sometimes he intentionally raps off beat and it's way better than anyone that I've ever heard try to do that style. He has a fire image dresses really cool, and really just makes interesting music. And the first time you listen to it, you might think it's weird or you don't really get it, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's why my phone is left. Out to ego demon, frame from asking if I'm tweaking, we can't pull a bad decision shit. Kudos if you listen, it ain't fuck you if you don't. Jazz Ingram. Had a thought about hip hop, the reason my songs pop, easily my first love, and you know true love can make you feel real warm. Jazz is a true neo-rap artist. He brings various elements of multiple different styles of music into his, very creative lyrically, and can sing pretty well. He always has unique instrumentation on his tracks, and I could see him having a fan base that consists of a lot of people that like indie music, indie rock, and as well as traditional rap fans. And again, just like all the other guys we've seen so far, all have really good images. People touch lightly on that, I feel like, even still to this day, but it's very important as a rapper. You gotta have something appealing about you. It doesn't mean that you have to look like anything in specific, you just have to have a look, you know what I mean? Fast forward down the road, still the same, baby boy. Bigger goals, my perspective stretching without info. Random like I see the world, realize we are minimal. And Jazz, Jelani, David, and Kenny all put together are for sure a force to be reckoned with. They are so creative, both just individually and when they're together. And they make music together, if I didn't mention that. I ain't been to New Jersey, all my team of New Jersey. Yeah. 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 Don't spill some blood for me. Shout out when you're Titanic, girl. 
Me and you different, nigga. I ain't probably touch this shit for the first time, brother. I hit a lick, I was six. I've been having some money on me ever since. They for sure heard about it all over the city. It's just unlike anything that I've heard, or maybe it's just really refreshing to hear with all of the oversaturation of music that we get today. And I know, I know, I know, I know if they work together, they will all rise and they will all bring a wave to the mainstream. They will start, legitimately start a wave. It reminds me of something that I've seen before and I absolutely know that if they stick together and if they work together and they help each other promote and they just keep that good energy in the music and in real life, I know they will all be successful. I just feel it. Beam. Beam is somebody, again, that I've talked about multiple times on the channel. And now that I think about it, he is actually, he's, he's signed as well. So hopefully, you know, the label will help with some funding to blow his music up. And he actually isn't from Atlanta, but he's been living there for a while and he definitely reps it pretty hard. His Jamaican roots and spacey trap sound provide a really unique mix that I feel like all hip hop fans can get behind. If you like vibey trap music, if you like 90s style lyrical, rap, if you like dance hall or really just traditional melodic trap music, then Beam has something for you. He is next level on the versatility and I just continue to feel like he's super, super slept on because his music is so good. From your head to your door, everything you see is what you know, like when the sun rise and when the sun go, put down the pride and think what you're doing. Rob Olu. I might go to Queens, my bitch queen. She rocking McQueen, I'm rocking one. This ice from Alaska, Sarah Palin. I need to get paid, I'm Gary Payton. I'm fucking with Skeptor on Rockin' Train. You can get hit with the S. Another versatile trap artist. He can sing melodic hooks that'll get stuck in your head. He can have you in your feelings with some more emotional rap, or he can bring that energy onto a hard trap beat that'll make you want to jump around. He just he just has that swaggy energy. But the big thing that Rob really needs to do is just release more music. He leaves us pretty dry very often. But we know that when he does release music, it's worth listening to. I ain't never had no Sir. I can't make new friends. I can't trust nobody swabbing. Yeah, I can't trust no op. Y'all done left me with no option. Yeah, I want a whole lot of bank. I want a whole lot of bank. Yeah, yeah. Who is last, but is most certainly not least. I feel like Surf could legitimately be mainstream tomorrow. <laughs> I've been a huge fan of Surf for well over a year now. He has a nice unique spin on the mainstream trap sound, but I'm not gonna sit here and act like he is the most original or most unique artist in the world, but I feel like he is the perfect appeal for people that love melodic rap. All his music is super catchy and the beats are always fire, has a good image, but he needs music videos and he needs marketing and promotion, just as a lot of these guys do. But specifically Surf, I feel like for the quality of music that he has and is producing against the numbers that he's receiving is just way off. And with a little bit of marketing would probably help a lot. I'm with my dogs, like Bark, you pussy boy. You an they bite on me. Like a shark, I draw my gun. Like R, I pull up fast. I, A, I do the dash. When a race, I got my ties. Now, obviously there are tons of talented rap artists that are from Atlanta. So I just wanted to include some honorable mentions. Smoking on green, I'm trying to be healthy. Smoking on green gelato. She want a potential model. Triple seven like I just want a lot. So why'd you have to leave me all burned out? Bitch, you just another good girl I turned out. I just go through different phases where I'm focused on specific artists at different times and the people that I discussed are the artists that I'm just really into right now. And the honorable mentions are people that I recognize. I'm just not, you know, fully involved or fully invested in their brand or in their music at this moment. I hope that makes sense. So if you're an artist in here and you're in the honorable mentions or if you're feeling some type of way, just don't take it personally. I just have a very specific keen eye on the people that I mentioned previously. But also just a, a little thing about Atlanta, the reason why Atlanta artists are so successful is because they 
they tend to stick together and they tend to support each other, which is definitely where I'm from, not the case. Most people are, feel like they're competing against each other. And if they just spend more time and energy working together and trying to build separate brands, but you know, help each other, then they would go a lot further. But that's just the one thing that I've seen about Atlanta artists where they help each other. And that's why a lot more people are successful that come out of Atlanta. If you think that you can do it all on your own, you're only gonna get so far. And I know rappers like to pitch that narrative. I did it on my own, but they did. They definitely did, but they had help. They definitely had help. But shout out to everybody that's in the video. Appreciate you guys. And if you are if you happen to be new here and you made it to this point in the video, I make videos about rap. I make a lot of videos about underground rap or underrated rappers or rappers that are on the come up. Really what I try to do is just uh, make viral video ideas that'll appeal to the mainstream crowd, bring that audience to the underground because that's really what I'm passionate about. I really just try to make creative videos about rap music. So definitely subscribe and um, have a good day. Drink water, you know what I mean? I'm out.